As Brian delivers you the goods here, coming at you again. Uh, I'm coming at you for the Supernatural Season 10 review, finally. I know I said I was going to do it yesterday, but I was... At the time, I was watching the God of War game review, because I'm about to do a game review for that eventually. So, you'll probably see a game review for the God of War thing probably by the end of the week, or at least by Sunday, at the latest, or as whenever I can get it out there to y'all. So let's get into this review. This is, the first episode is called Black from Supernatural Season 10. This is after Crowley tells Dean to go, let's go howl at that moon, and then he, his eyes turn black. So Dean is a demon, and he ran off from the bunker, which the beginning of season 10 was like confusing because it showed Sam torturing this demon or whatever or something. So you're just like, what is going on? <laughs> and then you see it just the timelines messed up a little in the beginning. I found it a little lacking there. That's where I'm like, all right, this point, that point, what the sh fuck is going on? This episode was not bad, but it eventually explained it later on, but uh, I'm not crazy about this one because it showed Dean just karaoke at a bar and then he's playing uh, with Crowley with one of those foosball tables or something. And then, uh, I don't know. It's just this episode, it felt very boring. I, I couldn't stand this episode that much. There's not really much to tell. And Castiel's losing his grace or whatever, so he's on the verge of death. So his stolen grace is like fading quickly and Hannah's trying to help him out and then they have to go after this uh, one of the angels or two of these angels and one of them they had to kill and then the other one got away. So yeah and then Dean kind of said to Crowley I don't want to work for you and all that. It's like I'll be fine. He's like when I want to kill I'll give you a call mostly. And then this guy, Cole or whatever, comes in trying to look for Dean because he has some kind of revenge plan against him. But he kidnaps Sam in the process, and Cole thinks that Dean's going to come save Sam, but no, he's not. Because Dean is a demon, and he's like, I don't really care what you do to him. That's his own business. So, yeah. The end of the episode was okay. Black is getting a 3.5 out of 5. It, it lacked in the beginning. I found the timeline in the beginning of it just messed up. And it could have been drawn out a lot better. But that's just one episode, so let's find out the rest of the episode. Episode 2, Reichenbach, I think it's called. This is where... Uh, Dean and Crowley, I guess they're doing business or something. So, yeah, he's saying when I want to kill, I'll let you know. And then he's going after this guy or whatever that wants his wife dead or whatever. So he's making a deal with Lester, I think this guy's name is. And Lester's like, oh, I was actually watching the thing. He's And Dean's who's the demons like you're not supposed to watch he's like when this goes down you don't want to be here for it and he's like i know he's like i know that and he's like is that what you like to do lester watch so instead of killing the client he killed lester and crowley wasn't happy about that and uh yeah sam did get away from cole's clutches after he was tortured and all that by Cole. And he called Castiel and told 
him that Dean was a demon. And Cass uh, immediately was on on his way just to go to the bunker. So yeah, Cass and Hannah are on the way on the way to the bunker where they're gonna try to save Dean. And Dean is still on the run, pretty much, and Sam's trying to look for him. And Crowley actually comes to him and says, you can have him back, because he's bad for business. And then, in the beginning, it's, you see Dean at a stripper bar or whatever or something, at a strip joint. And he beats up on one of the bouncers, badly. And Cole's actually tracking him as well, Sam. He's tracking Sam just so he can lead him to Dean, and then he can have his revenge. Because in the beginning, if I didn't explain it correctly, it showed uh, Cole or whatever, Cole's dad in the beginning, like years ago, that Dean like killed his father because he thought it was in cold blood, but no. It gets explained later on in the season about why, uh, about what Dean tells Cole or whatever. So, yeah. Uh, Dean actually gets captured by Sam's hands, and Cole gets embarrassingly beaten by Dean because he's just showing off. And he's like, you have no idea what you walked into. So, Cole kind of got his ass kicked. And then Cole's just in the library looking up a book about demons and he asks someone do you have a book on demons or whatever and then Sam's driving off with Dean who is in chains or whatever or handcuffed and uh he's like I'm gonna kill Dean's like I'm gonna kill you pretty much so episode 2 is getting a 4 out of 5 Episode 3, Soul Survivor. This is where they're just in the bunker, mostly. And Castiel and Hannah are still on their way just to get to Dean. To pretty much uh, save him from the mark and all that. That way they can turn him back. <clears throat> and Dean's like, I don't want to be cured or whatever. So pretty much he's just lost it mostly. And Sam's giving him these injections for purified blood or whatever. And he's like, you have no idea what you're doing. He's up against and he's like, Mark Cain, got it. And yeah. So, uh, yeah, this episode wasn't bad. They run into the angel that they, uh, we're trying to look for or whatever that wanted revenge on Castiel for killing him. And uh Crowley actually takes his grace or takes her grace and right at the last moment because most of the demons wanted Crowley to end Castiel, but no, he didn't want that. So he's like if I'm going to uh be in a fight with you, I want you at full strength. Mm. So, yeah. He's like, you're not dying on my watch, mostly. <laughs> so he gives Castiel this grace or whatever, and then... Guess he's recharged for a brief moment. For a little bit. And then he goes to save Dean, mostly. There's not really much to tell on this episode, just... Dean's just looking for Sam as well, while the bunker's locked down. And then, uh, afterwards, uh, maybe a little ways on, it, uh, Sam comes very close to getting killed by Dean. And then Dean just gets, uh, grabbed, is like, uh, held in place by Castiel while he's, uh, grabbing him and just keeping him there. And he's like, it's over. So he's just holding on to him tightly. That way he doesn't go after Sam. And then they give him more of the blood and then his 
black eyes disappear. So Dean is back to Dean. So it miraculously worked. This episode's getting a 4.5 out of 5. Episode 4, Paper Moon. This, I can explain it briefly. Uh, in Season 8, I mentioned one of the chicks named Kate, who turned into a werewolf and then was on the run. And Sam and Dean let her go, because they didn't want to chase her, just to give her a chance. And in this episode, they find her again. But this time, she's at her hometown, but she says her sister was dying or whatever, or got in a bad car accident or something. So the only way to save her was for her to bite her and turn her into a werewolf, but she went full on dark side and did kind of snacked on humans. Uh, Kate's sister. And yeah, uh, they had to stop her, mostly. That's pretty much the whole episode. They thought Kate was... Sam and Dean thought Kate was the one that was doing the killings around town and uh, feeding on people, but no. It was her sister. So they stopped her, mostly. And then they let Kate go again, and she's like, I hope I don't see you again. <laughs> mostly like that. Episode 4 is getting a 4.5 out of 5. Episode 5, Fan Fiction. This was weird. This was a... This is the 200th episode, so it's like a... They're doing like a supernatural play here. These, uh... Girls or whatever. Or... Something like that, and... It's weird. I found it weird or whatever, and Calliope or whatever, who was the one that was taking these chicks or whatever, and with those vines coming out and taking the teacher at first, and then taking someone else as well. Like this weird monster or whatever that shoots his vines out from his arms, just takes them and grabs them and runs away with them. And then Sam gets caught by this same monster and then has to kill the calliope chick or whatever the one that said she's gonna eat the director or something after the show finishes or something this episode's getting a four out of five i found it weird it, at points it was okay but it was weird episode six ask jeeves this one was about, uh, what is it, uh, the maid or whatever that killed the butler or the father and everything that was locked away in this room and then pretty much you run into these spoiled rich preppy people that Sam and Dean have to deal with for a whole night and they think that, and they're under investigation by a detective who eventually gets killed because he thought the detective thought that someone here was the killer that killed uh, this person or whatever so kind of mystery murder crime stuff this episode was weird and this episode was okay I'd give it a four out of five and they mostly went to that house because of Bobby being on a deed for this rich person's passing or whatever. So yeah, this episode's getting a 4 out of 5. There's not really much to tell. It's just made pretty much did it, and they killed her. And Sam kind of bashed her head in a lot. I meant Dean kind of bashed her head in a lot or something. Uh, Dean, no, Dean kept shooting. That's what it was. I'm sorry. Uh, this is going to be it. This is going to be the first part finished with these six episodes I explained. I'll be back in part two for however many episodes I can fit into each video. So stay tuned for the part two and I'll see you in the next video.